Let's chase some birds, boys and girls. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, I'm smiling like a little kid on Christmas morning. It's because it's, to me, the second best Christmas morning of the year. Um, it's opening morning at turkey season here in Central Florida. We're headed out I'm on a little solo mission today. Um, my brother and my dad both had stuff they had to do this morning. So, they flaked on me. So if y'all are watching this, we probably got on some birds. And I pro probably did my best to get them on film. But um, I'm hoping you guys enjoy the video. And if you do, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, we should have at least four to five turkey hunts this year that are going to be pretty solid. So I'm really hoping to be able to lay down some good footage for you guys. And um, like I said, I'm at sitting at like 890 subscribers. I would love to be at 1,000 by the end of the spring. So if you guys could... Uh, do it out of the kindness of your heart. Hit me a subscribe and a like on this video. I would really appreciate it. But let's go taste, chase some thunder chickens. All right, guys. We just got to got to the property. I want to do an interview in the truck because honestly I'm not a hundred percent sure where these birds are roosted so I'm gonna use no light no anything I'm gonna get in there um, cut me a couple palm fronds and make me a little blind since I'm self filming this morning um, take all the help I can get from the blind so um, anyways we're fixing to head in it's about 630 I'd say 630 so we should be able to they should be gobbling about half hour by 7 a.m so i'm gonna get in there and get after it hopefully if you guys are seeing this hopefully i got on some birds but i guess we'll see thank y'all for watching So I got this turkey, he flew down around the edge of this field, straight across from me. He's still gobbling, but he's like 200 yards out and he's just kind of hung up right now. So I got two options. I can get more aggressive with my calling, which I've already got him pretty hard on the box. And I've had to use the box call most of the morning because the wind is whipping. Um, He had to have seen the decoys too, so he just kind of kept right on moseying along and never 
hate him now mine, but so anyways, he flew down around the edge of this field. And I thought I saw something white across there moving. And it was his head. And uh he's over there at like two hundred yards. He's still goblin, but not necessarily goblin every time I call or anything like that. It's more of a he's goblin on his own kind of thing. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna hold tight keep the soft calling up that I've been doing and hope that he breaks. Until then, um, I'll probably I'll try to get some footage of him if he comes across this field obviously, but until then I'm just gonna kinda hang tight. So y'all stay tuned. Sucker snuck up on me.
Let's go. How about that? First turkeys ever with the 410. That was unbelievable. <laughs> hey. Oh man, my heart's about to beat out of my chest. I'll tell you this right now though. This one, I know he'll watch the video because he's my little homie. A couple weeks ago, A couple weeks ago, Grayson, which if you guys know me, my little cousin Grayson's been in the hospital for the last couple months. Um, he was diagnosed with leukemia late December. He has been in the hospital, in the ICU, for the last, I don't know, 70 something days, maybe more than that. He's the toughest little kid on the planet. But a couple weeks ago, he was down in the dumps and we like watching turkey hunting videos together all the time we were watching them in the hospital and i said you know what i bet he will get fired up if i go out and get him a little 410 turkey gun so he's got something to look forward to when he gets out of the hospital and i just shot two osceola turkeys with grayson's gun <laughs> so they say God works in mysterious ways, but I don't think there's anything mysterious about it. It, it just worked out just like that perfectly. So this one's for you, buddy. I love you, G. Let me tell you something right now. I ain't never been much of a smoker. I get guys like to smoke their cigars or, you know, whatever floats your boat, right? Well, I like to have a breakfast beer. So that's what I'm gonna do. But man, Sunshine State. Those of you that have tried for an Osceola know it ain't that easy. I'll tell you that. But this morning was a picture perfect morning. I had one long beard pitch off a limb, and land in the field, and gobble his brains out all morning long. I'm talking about gobble, gobble, gobble now. <clears throat> and. I couldn't get him to break for nothing. Called to him a little bit, tried to be quiet for a little bit. I tried it all, right? And uh, finally I said, you know what, I'm just gonna wait him out. He sees the decoys, he's probably gonna come in. And then we'll be in the chips. But uh, anyways, long story short, I didn't get the best footage of it. I'm self filming this morning, but these two birds slipped in behind me. I was still looking at the bird 200 yards away gobbling. And they come in, run that turkey off, and uh, made a big old loop. And as you guys could tell in the footage, they come on a string straight to that avian next decoy. I'm talking about straight to him, wanting to whoop up on him. Um, and I know there's gonna be some people in the comments like, why didn't you shoot him before that? Why didn't you shoot this? Why didn't you have plenty of opportunities? I was still filming, and at that point, Honestly, 
I forgot I was hunting there for a little bit. I thought I was filming turkeys. Um, and that turkey come in there and did that one loop around that decoy and spit and drum right there in my face at 12 yards, I was shook up. So, anyways, I waited for them to turn away from me and they just happened to line their heads up at the same time. And just, old Steven's 301 did the job, Grayson's gun. So, but big shout out to, <clears throat> to my dad for shooting it for me and getting it sighted in. Uh, run out of time, honestly. And really wanted, I really didn't even want to hunt it but what, with Grayson's gun. So, anyways, it was an awesome morning. Um, obviously, I'm blessed beyond means. I'm just going to thank God for all the opportunities that he gives us and, and uh, he continues to bless us with. So, on that note, uh, I'll be behind the camera the rest of the year. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to do my best to produce as many videos as I can this spring. Um, this happened to be a two-for-one video, so if you... <laughs> If you don't mind, make sure you drop a like on the video for me. Um, drop me a comment, good or bad. It's all right. You know, people have opinions, and I'm here to listen to them. That's part of being a content creator. So, um, anyways, I appreciate you guys so much for watching, and uh, make sure to subscribe to the Florida Boy Outfitters channel. And uh, hopefully, there's more hunts like these coming up this spring. Thank you, guys.